Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to go over how I got the sounds working for the older version of Minecraft. At least this is the method that worked for me to get the sounds working. And so I'm just going to go over that here. So I'm going to start off from afresh and just add a new version. You can just modify your pre-existing one should you wish. But I'll just sort of show it from the beginning here. So I'm just going to name that alpha video. And I'm going to select an alpha version of Minecraft. Which we'll is scroll down here and I'm going to select um, version 1.0.15 game directory like this will be where your um, saves where your resources are saved I'm just going to change that I recommend you changing it as well if you're running an older version of Minecraft so I'm just going to call that alpha video and leave that in the .minecraft folder for convenience and hit OK and so this will just prevent the resources and the saves from being mixed in with sort of newer versions and what have you and then I'm going to leave all of this stuff the same for now I'm going to hit create and I'm just going to play this and so you can hear that even though the sounds on there we're not getting those button sounds and if I create a new world um, this will just populate those um, that directory of the save and what have you okay but you can hear that um, and there's no sounds at the moment so I'm just going to go to the menu there and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a what I'd recommend doing anyway is making a copy of the Java WXE that the game's currently running off and just essentially blocking the access to the internet in the Windows firewall for that version of, for that Java W. So to do that, I'm just going to open Task Manager, I'm going to go over to Details, and then scroll down and find the Java W.exe that the game is currently running off. I'm just going to right click that, click Open File Location, and then we have this one here. I made this copy earlier, I can just delete it. Right, so you should have this. All you would first want to do is just make a copy of that. Okay, so I've got this now, and then just give it a name, something like Java W Offline. Okay, so now what you want to do is open the firewall. That's okay, so you should be greeted with something like this, and then just add inbound and outbound block entries for that. Okay, so I'm just going to click that, and then it's already navigated it to here because I just did this earlier. But basically, if you just copy that, you can paste this in here. Just Get, get access to this one that you just created and then select that, block the connection and then just give it a type, give it a name here okay and then do the same for the um, the other one, the outbound and inbound just block both of those there okay so that's now done in there, I'll close out of that and then we can also close out the game as well. Back in the installations part here, just click on these dots and go to edit, and then now change the Java executable that you're using to the offline version. And hit save. And then I'll go ahead and play this again. And you can hear that the sounds are not working. Okay. So it's all well and good there, and that's how I managed to get the sounds working. The next part, and this is also the part that you may want to try if the sounds still aren't working, is the follow. So I'm just going to close out this now. And then in the video description, I'm going to link this. Okay, so this here is the original Alpha and Beta sounds. Okay, they're basically that these aren't the sounds that are now downloaded. They're slightly different um, because these ones, I don't think they had the rights to use them or something like that. Right, but these are the original ones. Now, if you're still not having the sounds playing, maybe that's because the, the server isn't actually letting you download these sounds at all. And so, just copying these files may help you with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate to where I created that directory earlier. Okay, in alpha video. And then we're going to click on resources here. And then I'm basically going to drag and drop this. I'm going to replace the files. And then I'm going to right click, click on properties and set this as read only. Okay, so this is this is basically the original sounds as I said, the ones that they now bundle the game with um, are sort of tweaked version, well just sort of newly made versions um, but certain sounds like this door, the old door sound effect or what have you are contained sort of here and those would be different, right? We just set that as read only, the game won't modify those anymore and then yeah, so if I just go on to the other version that we had, oops. Okay, yeah, that's this one. 
you can hear that door sound effect, like that's an example of one of the sound effects that's affected. Okay, this sound effect here is the original door sound effect. Okay, from all the way back when the game was sort of first sort of added with, added with those sounds, what have you, okay? So, as I said though, potentially if the, if the surface is not letting you download that, simply drag and drop and as it may help you with that, okay? And so hopefully you found that useful and hopefully it sounds working now.